going back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you guys. I actually shared some of this stuff on my Patreon and I shared some in my Insta stories on Instagram the day I think that I got it, which was last week when Emily was on spring break. Um, we went to an art museum in Raleigh, North Carolina for one of the days. We spent the day there um, and the one Joanne store in North Carolina that was getting the designer destination stuff was about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe from the art museum. So I went ahead over there and picked some stuff up. I also did pick some other things up. Um, cardstock actually was on sale um, and I have it sitting right here actually. I just picked up an array of different colors. Um, craft, some yellows, lots of navy blue, um, lots of black, pinks, aquas, yellows, oranges. Just picked up a little bit of everything um, because it was super, super cheap. I can't remember exactly what the sale was, but these papers from the Designer Destinations, um, I got for 20 cents a piece, which is wild. Um, it was amazing. So I was really excited to find that they had a lot of the newer stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I already have them broken up in collections and bags. So that's what I'm gonna kind of do. That's how I'm gonna go through them. Also, I have a new puppy and she is asleep next to me in her bed. Um, and she snores a little bit sometimes. So if you hear her snoring, that's what that is. Um, and hopefully she sleeps through this. She should because we just had a really, really, really hard play session. <laughs> so she should be good for a little while. Um, like I said, I showed some of this stuff on Instagram and on my Patreon page. And I had quite a few people message me and ask me to do a haul video. So that's what I'm going to do. So, for this first collection, this is from a new designer. Pulling out here. Um, and you can get these bags from the Dollar Tree. They're in the um, laundry section. My friend Amanda picked a pack up for me. They come in a three pack and they're a dollar. And they fit kits really, really well. And they have a Ziploc on them and a handle. So, super nice. Um, Okay, so this one is from Damask Love, um, and this collection is called Wild Card. Like I said, this is her first collection. She was on a craft show, apparently, um, on NBC, I think, and she's she was the winner of the show. I don't know. I've never watched it, but she was at Creativation, and... Um, she told me that I had a really pretty sweater. I had a rainbow sweater on one day and she told me that she liked my sweater and I was like, oh, thanks. And then I can't remember who it was, but somebody came up to me and was like, isn't she so nice? And I was like, yeah, she is. I don't know who she is. Who is she? And then they explained to me who she was. Um, and so anyways, <laughs> uh, and she was like looking through people's pocketbooks at Creativation, which was super funny. So I follow her on Instagram now, and she's just a mask love, uh, and yeah, she's super cool, and she's got a new collection out, so I decided to pick some of it up. I picked up the ephemera. Now, there are a lot of pieces in this that I probably won't use, like this giant chocolate bar. I, I don't see myself using it. You never know, um, but there's some coffee, um, some a toucan, pineapple, cactuses, uh, unicorn, some sayings, a sloth on a popsicle, which is super cool, and some sushi pieces. It's really cute, and this is a really, really fun and bright, colorful collection. Um, and it also has some iridescent accents in it, just to let you know. The stickers do as well. Um, I think maybe, yes, they do. Um, so here are the stickers. Um, and it's the same kind of stuff. I really, really love the sushi because we love sushi here in our family. The slot's really cute. The cactuses are adorable. Again, there are lots of pieces, like all of these little chocolate pieces, I just don't see myself using. But the, um, 
the words. There's some word phrases down here. I'm not going to take them out, but um, you rock. Hello. Celebrate. You're great for you. Surprise. Happy birthday. Thanks. Party. Um, so nice stars as well that are very usable. More sushi. So really cute. And I'm going to tell you right now that most of these papers I got for what I would say is the B side, I think. I always get confused about that. Um, for me, the A side is where the branding, where it says the name, that's A side to me. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I say. <laughs> so I do not like this at all. I would not use this at all. However, this side is super fun and colorful and bright and rainbow, and of course I would use it. Um, so this to me would be the B side. Again, here is the paper. I put them, I think I put them on the side that I liked. I believe that's what I did. So I like this side too. It's okay. I could, I could see myself using it, but I definitely like this one more. Here's the other one. There's the little sloths. Look at the little sloth in the ice cream cone with a cherry on his head. <laughs> This one is one of my favorites. I'm usually not a very graphic person, um, like triangles, but I really, really like this one. I just really think it's pretty. And there, there's the other side, which this side would be the A side, um, but I like this side. So that's the side that I put on that I like. Again, with this one is the same thing. Um, I think I like both sides, but I really, really like the sushi because we eat sushi a lot. So um, that's the side that I got it for. Um, but this one's cute too. And I love the branding strips at the bottom. You can never go wrong with a good rainbow. Um, it's really pretty, but there's some great cut aparts as well. So really I like both sides, but probably use it for this side. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love yellow. I love it. When I can use it, I use it. I don't like this side so much. I'm not a lemon person, but I do really like that side. Again, the rainbow. I love it. But I also love the cactuses. How cute are those? And then I could use either or. This, this one I love. The little like loop-de-loos. Let me get it up closer to see if you guys can see that a little bit better. Hopefully you can. And then the other side is the strawberries, which we grow strawberries and we also go to strawberry patches, so we can definitely use both sides. So that is all that I got from the Damask Love. Now, um, my Joanne, well, my Joanne, it's not really mine. It's an hour, oh, an hour away from my house, but the Joanne that I went to this is, they really didn't have much of this collection. They had a lot, they had all of the papers and then this. Um, I don't think they had anything else. So that's just what I picked up from that collection. Um, next we'll go through Sparkle City. And I know a lot of people were like really, really excited about the project pads. Um, for me, I would, if I can, I would rather have the sheets of paper because they're better quality they're thicker and I also just want to get the papers that I like I don't want to get a whole pad unless I like a whole bunch um, but even then most of the time I don't care for the project pads because of the quality paper it's just not it's not thick like I like it so um, I had my very first scrap party um, a live scrap party on my Patreon last month um, for the month of April. And the winner of that challenge, I had did, I think, three challenges throughout the weekend. Um, and each challenge um, a patron did, they got their name entered uh, in the giveaway. So if you did all three layouts, your name would be entered three times. If you only did one of the challenges, then your name would be entered one time. So the winner of that was Patty. Um, she's been a patron since I started my Patreon page. She's super sweet, super awesome. Um, and 
um, which all of my patrons are awesome. <laughs> but she was the winner for that. And she actually, I actually just mailed it, I think yesterday. Um, she's getting some of, she's getting some of this, this stuff. I already sent it to her, but I went to Joanne's and got some stuff um, for her. So she's going to get little, little samples, I think, of a couple different collections. So fun. Okay. So for the Sparkle City, the embellishments that I got, I believe were all of the embellishments they had. So I got two of the enamel stickers because why not? They're super cute. I love the shapes. The only thing that I wish, uh, I wish they would have done the dots smaller. I don't like the big dots. Um, yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I also picked up the ephemera which has 25 pieces, which really isn't that much compared to what they normally do. I didn't even really, um, I just picked it up. It says 30 on here, but it says 25 on the back. Oh, okay, 25 cardstock and five of these like, move, you can move it and it changes, whatever. I don't know what it's called. Um, Linicure, Lin mm, I'm not, I'm gonna butcher that. So I got the ephemera. <laughs> I also got the rub-ons, which we'll go ahead and open. Actually, no, you can see them on the back. They're super cute. I love all the little stacked cups. Um, and yeah, really, really, really cute. Let the sun shine in, happy thoughts, happy times, happy memories, you've got this. Um, have fun, see the world. So, really, really cute. Then I picked up the sticker in washi book folder. Let's open this. Um, we'll see how these are. I've not had very good luck with these stickers. Um, I, I don't really think they stick very well, to be completely honest. But look at me still buying them. Uh, because, well, you know, look, this folder's adorable, by the way. It's got the hollow little lights on it. So cute. So you can keep your little stickers in the book. Um, lots of holographic. And they are cardstock stickers. They're quite thick. They're sticky, but we'll see um, how they work. So this is what they look like. This is the washi tape. That's washi tape as well. We have some letters, tags and labels, some more labels and tiny word phrases. It's extra thick. And then this one has a lot of little tiny icons. Um, yeah, so really, really cute. Let's see if they fit in the folder. I know that that's been a problem as well. Like, they don't fit. See, we'll do half on one side and half on the other. All right. You got to get it in just right in the corner over here. So it does fit. Okay, so there's that, the Sparkle City sticker and washi booklet. And then I also picked up just the stickers, which I don't know why I did. It was the last one and it's got like a crease down here. I don't know why I got it, you guys. I probably shouldn't have since it had that crease, but I really, really love the sparkle and the different colors um, and it's not messed up. So most of the ones that I like aren't messed up. I love the balloons, the stars, the coffee, um, the camera. I can't use my words. And then all these tiny words down here I love. Um, these are really the only pieces that got messed up here, so I'm okay with that. Picked it up anyways. All right, now let's look at the papers. So here we have um, the cut aparts that I picked up. This is the other side. I definitely got it for the cut aparts. We have this really, really pretty, like pale yellow. And then the clouds and stars, which I like both sides of that one. That one's really, really pretty. We have another yellow with, I think they're like little tiny squares, white tiny squares. And then we have 
all of the like takeout food kind of things, burgers, fries, Chinese, soda, coffee, really cute. You can never go wrong with the black and white stripe, but I also really like this side with all the little coffee mugs stacked. It's really cute. Probably should have got two of that one. Here we have a pink with a nice, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like dot pattern. Um, and then we have cotton candy on the back. Definitely got it for this side. This one is a, like a navy blue with a purple. And then this side is a nice, beautiful floral. I absolutely am in love with this paper. Um, it's just so pretty. And I love, again, the branding strips. Here's the opposite side of the cameras, um, which I do like. I should have probably got two of that one as well. I'm trying to use cameras more often on my layouts. I love this paper. I just love all the colors together. It's just really pretty. And then that one kind of makes my eyes hurt a little bit. Then we have a nice ledger, but it's also kind of ombre. This side's really cute too. And then the last paper that I picked up was this one. And then this is the other side. So I definitely got it for this side. <laughs> all right. So that is what I picked up from the Sparkle City collection, which I believe was everything that they had at my Joann's or at the Joann's that I was at. And somebody is sending, sending me texts right now. All right, last one. Um, they had some of the Chasing Adventures stuff, but I already pretty much got all of what I wanted from that online when it came out. Um, and then also, uh, what else was there? I can't remember. Um, some of this, let me see. The thickers I got from my little scrapbook store. So these did not come from Joann's. Um, and I've already actually used some of them. Um, so those were... I got them in my design team package along with a couple sheets of the paper which I've already used so this is what I picked up from Joann so I picked up the horizon embellishments and this is the floral pack and there's 50 pieces in it so this is what you get in that which is some really really pretty florals um, and love it and then I also picked up the just regular ephemera and there's 40 pieces in this one. Lots of great images and tags, frames. Um, yeah, so love that. I love the colors in this collection. They're so pretty. Um, I also picked up the sticker sheet, which is great. Here's the back side. So I really, really love that Joanne is getting some of the newer collections, but I am interested to see if they change them out as new collections come because I know that my Hobby Lobby, um, I think like two years ago, started getting some like newer papers, like newer six by six paper pads and then they never changed them out. Like I got really excited. I was like, oh, maybe they're gonna start carrying like new stuff. No, <laughs> they're still there. They still have the exact same ones and they're from two years ago. So I'm hoping that Joann's actually like, you like, you get new collections as they come out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully that's what they're doing. Um, so, here are the papers that I decided to pick up. Definitely got it for this side. Again, I love the ombre look and I love the like paint look. Here's this one. This one is number eight. And I like both sides. This one is super gorgeous. I've seen some really, really beautiful layouts with this paper. Um, and I honestly can't remember you know, who did what, because I see, I mean, I follow so many people on Instagram and Facebook that it's hard to remember exactly where I see something, but I remember seeing somebody, um, stitched 
all of these with the color that coordinated and it was just gorgeous it was so pretty um and there's the other side definitely got it for this side and then next we have this really pretty light pink and then this gorgeous floral on a navy blue i like both sides for sure um for different reasons but yeah that one's really pretty here's one of the cut aparts Super cute, nice little journaling spots. Um, and then a nice bright yellow with flowers. Again, with the paint ombre, it gets me every time. <laughs> I just love it. And I love the richness of these colors. Oh, so pretty. And then here we have little tiny airplanes flying all over the place. Definitely got it for this side. And then here we have a nice purple color and then um, the little squares. I think Paige is known for doing these. Uh, I think she does one of these in all of her collections, I believe. Definitely got it for this side though. This one's super pretty too. It has a whole bunch of different little patterns on it with circles. And then nice green with I think navy on the back. Oh, and then this is what I have left from what I got from my little scrapbook store. Um, so I created a layout. It, you would see it in my layout share that I just posted a couple, well, yesterday actually. Um, so this is what I had left from my little scrapbook store. She sent me, I think two sheets of paper or three. She sent me four, I think. Yeah, she sent me four sheets of paper from this collection and then the thickers. Um, and I created a layout on Patreon with it. So. This is what I picked up from Joann's. Um, and then I'm just gonna add what I have left over um, to it so I can use it all together. So I, that is it, you guys. Like I said, there were a couple other different collections that they had, um, the Chasing Adventures, but I already got what I wanted from that collection. And then they had um, another Jen Hatfield collection, but they only had one sheet of paper and the sticker sheet, like the stickers, the sheet of stickers, that was it. Um, so I didn't get that. And then they had, I think, a crepe paper summer collection. And um, it just wasn't really my style, so I didn't pick any of that up either. So that is what I got from Joann's Designer Destination um, lines or whatever. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.